First reading, Isaiah chapter 66 verse 10 to 14. Rejoice with Jerusalem, be glad for her, all you who love her. Rejoice, rejoice with her, all you who mourned her, so that you may be suckled and satisfied from her consoling breast, so that you may drink deep with delight from her generous nipple. For Yahweh says this, Look, I am going to send peace flowing over her like a river, and like a stream in spate the glory of the nations. You will be suckled, carried on her hip and fondled in her lap, as a mother comforts a child, so I shall comfort you. You will be comforted in Jerusalem, at the sight your heart will rejoice, and your limbs regain vigor like the grass. To his servants Yahweh will reveal his hand, but to his enemies his fury. Responsorial Psalm, Psalms chapter 66 verse 1 to 3, 4 to 5, 6 to 7, 16, 20. For the choir master song psalm, acclaim God, all the earth, sing psalms to the glory of his name, glorify him with your praises, say to God, how awesome you are. Your achievements are the measure of your power, your enemies we your favor, all the earth bows down before you, sing psalms to you, sing psalms to your name, come and see the marvels of God, his awesome deeds for the children of Adam, he changed the sea into dry land. They crossed the river on foot. So let us rejoice in him, who rules forever by his power, his eyes keep watch on the nations to forestall rebellion against him, come and listen all who fear God, while I tell what he has done for me, blessed be God who has not turned away my prayer, nor his own faithful love from me. Gospel, Luke chapter 10 verse 1 to 12, 17 to 20. After this the Lord appointed 72 others and sent them out ahead of him in pairs, to all the towns and places he himself would be visiting, and he said to them, the harvest is rich, but the laborers are few, so ask the Lord of the harvest to send laborers to do his harvesting, start off now, but look, I am sending you out like lambs among wolves. Take no purse with you, no haversack, no sandals. Salute no one on the road, whatever house you enter. Let your first words be, peace to this house. And if a man of peace lives there, your peace will go and rest on him, if not, it will come back to you, stay in the same house, taking what food and drink they have to offer, for the laborer deserves his wages, do not move from house to house, whenever you go into a town where they make you welcome, eat what is put before you, cure those in it who are sick, and say, the kingdom of God is very near to you, but whenever you enter a town, and they do not make you welcome, Go out into its streets and say, We wipe off the very dust of your town that clings to our feet, and leave it with you. Yet be sure of this, the kingdom of God is very near, I tell you, on the great day it will be more bearable for Sodom than for that town. The seventy-two came back rejoicing. Lord, they said, even the devil submit to us when we use your name. He said to them, I watched Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Look, I have given you power to tread down serpents and scorpions and the whole strength of the enemy. Nothing shall ever hurt you, yet do not rejoice that the spirits submit to you, rejoice, instead that your names are written in heaven. Second reading, Galatians chapter 6 verse 14 to 18. But as for me, it is out of the question that I should boast at all except at the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom the world has been crucified to me, and I to the world, it is not being circumcised or uncircumcised that matters, but what matters is a new creation, peace and mercy to all who follow this as their rule and to the Israel of God. After this, let no one trouble me, I carry branded on my body the marks of Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit, my brothers. Amen.